What's up gamers? It's me, Finza. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a great, if not perfect, comedy game video that everyone who will be watching will absolutely love. Everyone. Before we start, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make some dedicated file space for your gameplay and voice recordings. These are big files, and you're going to want to keep them safe during your time editing them. Once you've done that, don't fucking touch them. The second part of making any kick-ass gaming video is to sync those clips up and pull them into your timeline. I do this by scrubbing through the frames until I find the beginning of the recording. You can either press this little button here, or press I. It's the same fucking thing. Basically just... Yeah, it starts the way you want the clip to start. That's it. Fuck you. Success, that's great! Wait, wait, Finn! Put your editing cap back on! We're not done yet! That's it, that's it! Back in the game! Come on, you can- Come on! What number are we- Uh, three. Three! Number three of our 134 step process is now to watch the whole two to three hours of gameplay that you've just lived through already and pull out the best bits. Oh my god! <laughs> Bad behavior! <laughs> or just look for the spikes in audio because loud equals funny. <laughs> Be generous with the amount of clips at first, as we'll come back to them later and filter them more. AKA, get rid of the shitty clips. Wow! Would you look at that? We're really getting somewhere. Let's take a look at some tips for timing with your cuts. There's a few styles you can choose from here. You could have longer and more authentic gameplays where you try to capture the nuances of the comedy within the session, allowing for space for the audience to breathe between words. Or you could opt for a more reasonably paced video, which will engage the audience faster than the previous star. I mean, I mean, I personally prefer the latter as I'm of the belief that audiences today are pretty, you know, they need shit fast, basically. Um, so yeah, you know what they say about Pringles, once you pop, you, you can't stop, so that's, that is the gold standard for videos. Pringles. A great technique for cutting videos is to cut on the screen or just after the laughs start coming. You, you see what I mean here? I mean, look. See what I'm doing? I'm cutting. I'm cutting the scream a little bit short, and it and it makes it funny because you know that the guy's gonna scream, and it's it's really funny. And uh, haha. <laughs> there are whole Reddit sections dedicated to this stuff because they're so damn funny. Perfectly cut screams and just a are great examples of this. Just so you have a reference, let me show you here. Exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> Next thing you need to do is remove any unnecessary audio from your voice clips, whether whether that's background noise or unwanted laughter. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Isn't this fucking dude ruining the gameplay? Just snip, snip, and get that shit out of here. Sometimes, if you're extra shit, you can add your voice after recording the gameplay to make yourself seem funnier than you actually are. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! It's time for a toilet break! Did you know that the average toilet life expectancy is 50 years? Take this time to stretch and have a think about your video. It's important to come away every now and again to stay mentally stable. Moving on to the slightly more fun part of editing, the position and scale adjusting. This kind of stuff really enhances your gameplay videos. It helps emphasize moments of comedy and pointing out important things that you want your audience to see. No problem, watch. You really needed that. I mean, this is basically what the close-ups are for in films. Just remember, as important as the close-ups are the wide shots and establishing moments, which allows for the audience to know where they are in the space of the game slash video. So don't go too crazy with that shit, you crazy motherfucker. When that's done, you should watch all of this back about 10 to 15 times and realize that unless you're making money on YouTube, you're actually wasting your time. It's time to add the really funny parts, also known as memes that aren't yours. So get onto YouTube, look up a playlist of memes that other YouTubers use and get cracking on that download. This encompasses videos, sound effects, and even some songs. So go on. Go crazy! When you've got sufficient memeage in your meme library, start to think about which memes could work in the video at different time points. Oh, look! There's an unmemed moment right there! Let's add a meme to it and see how it works. This piece looks really loud, but it's really bumping. It's making my titties jiggle. It's making my titties jiggle. 
Sound is huge in comedy and in videos generally. So including the right sounds is essential to the product. I'll link a video in the description with all the essentials for you guys. But here's a sample of my most used ones, just so you know what I mean. Background music is also a great time filler. It can really save you in situations where you've got boring gameplay on show. Or even in some special cases, actually be used to enhance the mood and atmosphere of the game or video that you're making. So on a serious note, try to get creative with it. Also, don't worry about copyright until you're making any money, you, you idiot. <laughs> Once you've added the desired memes, songs and sounds to your video, have another look back at the work you've done and see the pro- Wait, wait, wait a second. Always remember to save your work. Control S or Command S, Apple. We're coming to the end of the process. Just remember that when you're watching this back for the 148th time, it's completely natural to be questioning the whole process. Wondering if all the time and effort being put into this creation of yours is actually going to be worth it in the end. Or if putting this video of you pretending to be a mole for the whole wide web to see will make you look very, very silly. It's supernatural and don't worry about it, seriously. If you're not quite ready to stop editing yet and you're feeling saucy, it's time to add subtitles. Subtitles are super easy to do and really fun. I'll show you how I do them. There we are, tracked and looking smooth. Thank you, I like your teeth. What? What, what, did you, what did you say? What did you say? Very good to watch and worth all the effort. Guys, if anybody knows a quick way to do this, I'd really appreciate you leaving a comment. Would you look at that? That is a bloody juicy looking timeline. Well done. Finally, you need to add the outro to your video. This is the last thing your audience will see. So forth, it should represent your brand style and channel name and allow space for the YouTube end cards. Now, there's a lot of things that I missed on this video. One thing that I'll tell you now, and one thing that keeps me motivated to make my videos, are the people that I've met along the way. Now I'm no big YouTuber, and being a mole might make me look like a goddamn idiot, sure. But when you have people that love you for embracing your weirdness, it's damn near the best thing in the world. And I hope you will find that on your journeys to becoming super rich, huge, Dollar Shave Club sponsored, money rolling YouTubers. As Idub said in his most recent documentary, Full Force. What even is cringe anymore? Now get out of here. Go and make some dumbass videos and share them with me in the comments or something. Let me know how life is with you. Go ask that girl out that you've been thinking about for years. Go tell your mum that you love her. Quit that job you fucking hate. Pay your taxes. Go to school. Subscribe to Finn's-